Welcome back. I'm joined by LSU sophomore Philip Barbary Jr. and his caddy, Shreveport Times columnist Roy Lang. Philip, you qualified for the U.S. Open by winning the Richmond Texas Regional last weekend. Has it sunk in yet? Does it feel real that you're going to be playing yeah. in the U.S. Open? Uh, you know, it really hasn't. It hasn't sunk in yet. Uh, I can't believe I'm going to be playing alongside, you know, names like Tiger, uh, Rory. I mean, the best players in the world are going to be there next week, so it's going to be something that uh, I'm going to be looking forward to. It's going to be a great experience, but uh, it really hadn't really sucked in yet. I'm sure it will when I get there um, and see the, all, those, all those great players, and I'm just uh, really looking forward to it. Is that what you're looking forward to most, or is there mm -hmm. something else going up to New York and all the pageantry that goes along with the U.S. Open? Uh, probably, yeah, probably playing alongside the best players in the world. There's nothing, I mean, nothing more exciting than, than that, really. Uh, I mean, playing a, playing a U.S. Open, I mean, that's, that's pretty, you know, it's a pretty huge deal, playing a major championship. I played uh, the FedEx St. Jude, which was a PGA Tour uh, tournament, and that was pretty big as well, but this is, I mean, this is a whole new level, you know, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be, going to be a lot of fun. Well, talking about the, the FedEx the uh, event you played up there, and what was that? That was in Memphis, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talking about that, and then some of the junior tournaments you played in, you won the 2015 U.S. Uh, junior Amateur Championship. Mm -hmm. Do those kinds of tournaments kind of prepare you for what you're expecting uh, this weekend? Yeah, I think they do, you know, somewhat. I think the U.S. junior that I won, I mean, there was a lot of people there, as well as the FedEx, uh, St. Jude, but, you know, a major in the U.S. Open. I mean, there's going to be, you know, three times as many people there, and it's going to you know, be a lot more hectic uh, and more chaotic out there. So, you know, I'm sure it's going to help a little bit with, the, uh, you know, the pressure that goes, uh, goes along with it. But, you know, I think it's going to be uh, multiplied by about three times this time. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of pressure, a little yeah. bit of, uh, you know what, though, just go out and just play. Mm -hmm. And whatever yeah. happens, happens. You're playing in the U.S. Open. And Roy, it's not often a uh, sports writer, sports columnist gets to uh, – Caddy for the U.S. Open. <laughs> right. Just talk about what this experience means to you, and, and how much it means to, to to experience this with Philip. No, we're going on our third year, and it just seems we top it every year. And by I say we, it, it's Philip. I mean, it, you know, we started out at the Spirit, winning three gold medals, and last year USAM made a great run, and now the U.S. Open, USAM again this year too. Uh, you know, growing up as a kid, I wanted to play on the PJ Tour. I wanted to play in the U.S. Open, and through this kid. I'm finally going to get to be a quote participant in the U.S. <laughs> Open, and, and I got to go, you know, carry his bag on tour. So, you know, through him, I'm living out a dream, and and he's so much better than I could have ever been. It, it mentally, the the kid is is really great, and it's, this is just the beginning for Philip. It really is. This is awesome, but this is just the beginning. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I think this is so cool. Philip Barbary Jr., one of two Shreveport natives who qualified for the U.S. Open the last weekend, along with Sam Burns. Make sure you tune in on Thursday through Sunday over on Fox and FS1 and root these two young Shreveport natives on.